Are you shorting the market? Are you betting stocks will drop? Because retail investors and day traders are doing it more. And here's how. Inverse exchange traded funds, like the ProShares short S&P 500 ETF. S&P goes down, you win. Although it may not be one for minus one. There are various risks and costs that quickly pile up if using for more than one single day. So keep that in mind. Another way to bet against the market is by shorting individual stocks. You can do that on eToro or Robinhood, for example. And apparently, new short positions have run up a lot, almost two thirds higher than this time last year. Or say you're more experienced, going short using a put option or on margin. But this is where the risks rack up. When the market rallies, you lose. And if using borrowed money, you can lose more than you put in. Even the market's biggest pessimists, they are expecting some moves higher as we get closer to year end. And remember, this time of year is usually pretty good for stocks. The S&P 500 gained on average 4% in the final quarter during the past 20 years. When you're short and the market goes the other way, that is up, your losses could be unlimited. So, trade carefully.